Hello, welcome to the self learning platform by Dr. Shishma Singh. Today we start Unit 4 St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas. And our topic is Church and the State. The implication of St. Thomas' theory of law and the state for the relations between church and the state are clear. These institutions represent different interests and concerns of men in the world and they must work in a spirit of harmony and cooperation to fulfill their respective ends. Of course, in a truly philosophical sense, church is superior to the state, as soul is superior to body, but both have to work together for the attainment of the ultimate purpose, which is salvation or the attainment of a beautific vision. Possibility of conflict is inherent in actual life, but what is of vital importance is restraint and balance. For Aquinas, the art of politics was just a mere technique, which could not be measured solely by its achievements, by standards of efficiency and success. The reason for this is that politics would always imply a moral responsibility, a deliberation, a willingness and a chance. It was not part of purely pragmatic science but part of morals. He emphasized on the importance of choosing the right means and the means in turn depended on the end and the end was a moral one. The end was common good, an end which was higher in value than that of individual and that of the family and which constituted the proper end of politics. As far as the problem of ends and values was concerned, Aquinas did not find any contradiction between the revealed truths of Christianity with that of human reasoning. Reason and faith, human nature and supernatural values were harmonious in nature. Human beings were endowed by God with the capacity to know the good and although inclined to do wrong, were capable of performing the good. The fall did not impair indigenous reasoning capacity. Though human beings know their good, they require to the help of God to attain salvation. Aquinas also laid down the limits of sovereignty both with regards to internal and international relations. He regarded war as an evil but a necessary evil. It could be justified only within strictest limits. It had to be a just war and for a war to be just special conditions were required. A legitimate authority, a just cause and rightful intention. War was the ultimate resort in the absence of a superior authority. It was connected with the very existence of particular state, a consequence of its sovereignty and the same time the proof that such sovereignty was neither absolute nor unlimited. Aquinas spoke of secular politics but did argue that temporal sphere was ultimately subject to the spiritual. 
he placed the common interest of the faithful and their spiritual well-being within the sphere of the church as educator promoting a life of virtue and therefore arguing for a harmony of the two jurisdiction church and state in the christian polity felicity on the earth would lead to happiness in heaven aquinas theory of state enabled subsequent western political thought to move in the direction of conceptualizing a secular state based on rationality and autonomy the subsequent 14th century carried aquinas argument to its logical end by developing the ideas of a secular liberal order rudimentary ideas of representation and outlines of the present day constitutional framework in the representative writings of marsilio of padua and william of ockham now let us move to the summary of the unit saint aquinas saint augustine was greatest christian philosopher of early middle ages and saint thomas of the late medieval period in europe saint augustine reinterpreted and transformed the tradition of plato aristotle cicero and plotonius with the idea of dual nature of man with a body and soul both of which should be given equal importance though he did not regard the state as natural it did not imply that there is no moral duty of political obedience on part of the citizens saint thomas aquinas brought together different strands of thought aristotelian roman patristic augustinian and jewish to integrate them into a organic whole under the rubric of christian philosophy saint thomas thought that faith does not contradict reason but complements it it is reaffirmation of reason rather than its denial he agreed that aristotle that the state is natural and claimed that it is not a highest institution he christianized aristotle's theory and brought it to line with augustine's religious philosophy but he rejected many of the accepted dogmas of christian theology and did not accept augustine's view on slavery and property now we want to wind up this lecture and we have come to the end of the unit thank you so much for your attention